Here we go. Gotta get, gotta get creative with them angles and shit. What's up, guys? It's the Homie Casual Hood Diner Podcast. DJ Century over here in the building. What up? Getting everything set up for the podcast. We had a little bit of a hiatus. Took some time off just to play it safe. And uh, we're back. Well, let's, so, keep, let's keep it funky. My uncle caught the COVID. Okay? He caught the COVID. And unfortunately, where we record is where he works and I work. My embroidery shop. Right. So, you know, not trying to be a super spreader. I just called up Kaz and I was like, yo, let's take a little break. Let's let the fucking bacteria that's here in the shop die out. Yeah. Um, because I know Mateo wasn't going to fucking deep clean this bitch. So, yeah, we just took a couple weeks off. It sucked, uh, you know, but it's nice though, because every time we take a little break, it recharges the batteries. And I feel like you guys get a better us when, when we take a little break. So we're back. My uncle's good. You know, he caught pneumonia. He beat it. Um, I don't have an RIP story. That's good. That's you good. Know? Um, so yeah, man, we just, uh, we're back at it now. Yeah, yeah. Something new was my week this week. And uh, Century was hungry, so he wanted to get some food. So we went to El Pollo Loco. And uh, El Pollo Loco got some fucking, some bomb ass uh, ch uh, churros and shit. And uh, yeah, we're about to try them shit. And then me, I brought in, I, I, I called it, I, I forgot that we've had this one. We've had this Kit Kat Duos, this um, mint dark chocolate one. But I saw this one and I was like, all right, we got to at least try this one, this mocha and chocolate pretty bomb I, I bought one for for my lady because she loves like mocha stuff and she gave me a piece of it and it, it's basically a Kit Kat coffee but you know what it tastes like you ever get those tins that have a shitload of different chocolates they're different sizes yeah, and yeah, different yeah, flavors yeah. and shit when you try this you're gonna be like this is one of those okay. this tastes just fucking like one of those and then I saw this flavor look at Lay's is basically fucking going after the dill pickle flavor because right. fucking what you gonna call it? Had 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 that deal. What is it? Uh, the the ones we had a couple Spicy weeks ago. Jalapeno. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, basically. So yeah, man. So we're gonna set this shit up and try these out and see what it do. So let me let me set this bitch down. Right here. Can you move this bag? All right. Let's start with the lazy shit. Like I said, it, ooh. oh, yeah, it smells fucking good. It smells like dill. <laughs> Here you go, try some more shit. Dude, I like that. Oh, man. That hits you right in the What's fucking. What's the official, official title? Flaming Hot Dill Pickle. Oh, this is me, ready? <laughs> oh shit, look at that, looks fucking crazy. Alright, <laughs> come with us, Michael. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that's pretty good fucking flavor. That's a pretty good shit. That's spicy, but it's bomb. It's got that dill flavor, like pickles. Here's the awesome one. The pack of churros, bro. Okay. Let me give you a. Before we get to the churro, let me just open this one up. Okay. Oh, break it in half. Break this all of that. Get mark. You can tell it's all coffee ish. Look at this color. Oh, you can smell the coffee on it. Yeah. Mm. Get a little bit of light. There you go. Look at that. There's your fucking. It smells good. You know what I left uh, when I left the house? My our video for uh, for Joe B's bread I was rendering. So hopefully when I get back to the house, I'll be able to upload it to that. How long did it take to render? It's a 21 minute video. It said it's gonna be like two gigs, and that's just 1080. 
So I would imagine that one probably went for like a good 45 minutes rendering. But I'm gonna talk about that. I'm gonna talk about that. We'll get into like tech and something new and stuff. A little tidbit for the, the fans on the Patreon. My aunt caught COVID too. Oh shit, really? Yeah, so like it really fucking hit home, you know, pretty fucking, pretty close, but somehow, some way, I'm like fucking Neo in the Matrix, like, here, <laughs> here, with COVID, bro. Ducking and dodging and shit. And fucking govern, or uh, fucking Regina Romero, our mayor, just fucking put a mandatory curfew. That beach. Starts on Friday. Cabrona. 10 p.m., which basically fucked my two gigs this weekend. Bam. You know? That sucks, man. Well, buy five hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty fire. I like, like it. Like for a cup. But do you taste that? There's a, in that tin. There's always one that kind of tastes like coffee. It's usually like dark. It usually looks like a Kit Kat. It's kind of long. Fucking chocolatey. That's what she said. That is what she said. Okay. I already have one of mine. So these last two are yours. El churro. Yeah, that's a pretty good sense of hefty ass churro right there. Look at that, yeah. Like a cigar, see? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Good. For some reason, I want to say I still feel that Disneyland churros they got crack in them or something because they're still the fucking best to me. I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna be completely wrong, but I think it's the endorphin rush that you get from being in the park. <laughs> I'm not gonna deny that they're possible. Bomb. Very possible. I'm not gonna deny that they're bomb. Well, they are good. But I think the whole ideology of you being in the park, you being in Disneyland, you know, you're doing everything. Yeah. You're mid walk, you're like, oh shit, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop and have me a little churro real Dude, quick. You know? Not just that, you know that they pump smells into yeah. the fucking, into the place? So as you're walking by, like the churro just smells fucking bomb, and then you taste it, and then it's like a combination you smell a lot of, bomb of every oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bomb churros. <laughs> but yeah, man, I'm gonna give the uh, Kit Kat a five because I would get that, right? You know, mm -hmm. mm. I agree. Five. The chips a three. Yeah. I, I mean, they're good. They're not. They're not that they're bad, but I just didn't really taste the fiery. They're supposed to be fiery. They're supposed to have a little kick on the tongue. No, that's not hot. Maybe it. you just didn't get one, because I had one that was really hot. Well, I ate three at the same time. Okay. So, <laughs> with a little flavor, flavor, flavor town. Yeah. I'm going to do this real quick. Watch. I just cleaned this, so you guys are going to get to see, like, a funny ass fucking third, third view, right? That's what it looks like. Open up a, bag a bag of chips. Here we go. That's not the face of my left. Okay, okay, I'll make the face of my left. Hold on, it's not even here. Okay, there we go. Okay, ready? Here we go. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get, you gotta get creative with them angles and shit. And I gotta get this flaming hot dill off the fucking back of the flaming camera. Hot dill. Flaming hot dill. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna give them a four. Italy. I think they were pretty bomb, and I would get these again. These churros are good. There is a fucking pollo um, local by my house, so. Next well, time the reason I, I go to pollo local so often is because of the chicken bowl which we had on here before. Oh, you murdered that because shit because. It's super healthy. Mm -hmm. I think the only bad shit in there is the sour cream and the cheese. Sour cream and cheese, yeah. You know? Which you can order without. Mm-hmm. I feel bad for people who have avocado uh, allergies. God. You know, this is for the thumbnail. Yeah, we did have that. We did have that bowl on the fucking podcast one day. Well, guys, we want to thank you guys for tuning in. We want to thank you guys for being Patreon members. We got the other part of the hat embroidered. Look at that. It says the Hood Diner. We were going to go with order up, but we feel like we need to get that uh, 
branding. that branding going. So it says the Hood Diner. If you are a Patreon member, they are going to go on sale for like a whole week before we put them like up for everybody else to grab. So make sure you guys uh, keep an eye out for that and uh, keep an eye open for episode 110. It's been three weeks since we recorded, so we are back. And uh, yeah, man, we thank you guys for tuning in. Century out, we out this bitch. Uh, well, okay. <laughs> Peace out, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Say hi to Mickey. Ho-ho!